Hello there, this is Mike Bogle speaking, and in this clip we're going to take you through the process of how you schedule your own Lectopia recordings using the self-service tool. So there's going to be a few steps involved in this, and I will take you through each one slowly. Now, to get to the tool, you just open a web browser and you go to elearning.unsw.edu.au slash Lectopia underscore DIY. And that will take you to a login page. And I'm just going to quickly enlarge this. And the following screen uh, outlines a number of different options that you have available to you, each one of which is detailed in a different support clip, such as the one you're viewing right now. But for the purposes of this exercise, we're going to be looking at one in particular. And that is found within Make Changes right here. And it's called Make Edit a Booking. But before we look at that tool, I want to draw your attention to two other tools which are important to bear in mind. Because Make Edit a Booking is how you initially make a request for a day, time, and venue and duration of the recording. It doesn't, uh, it doesn't um, have anything to do with the way students access it or whether podcasting is enabled. Both of those options are found elsewhere. So just quickly, change course preferences and change podcasting preferences. Each of these is something to look at. So just quickly, looking at change course preferences, when you select the course that you are interested in editing or updating, you will have a, a, a series of information that's available to you. Now I've done support tutorials on each of these tools, so I won't go into these in, in detail, but suffice it to say that take a look at these sections so you can be sure that your course is configured in the way you like it to be. Okay, now likewise, Change Podcasting Preferences operates in much the same way. You select the course from the drop-down list and make your choice at that stage. Okay, so back to Make Edit a Booking. You're logged in. Click that to access the tool. And to view all existing recordings, you just select a course. And as you can see, there are currently no editable schedules for this course. So what I'll do is we'll return to this after we finish the recording scheduling process and you can see what exactly it looks like. So in the meantime, create a new schedule and this loads a form. And at this stage, you complete the details according to the day, time, and venue. So in this case, I'm going to use mic test and let's say the venue is Biomed A. The day will be the day, uh, let's say Monday, and I'm going to say 9 a.m. Actually, let's say midnight, just so I don't disrupt anything, for two minutes, and the speaker will be me. Now, repeat option. We configure Lectopia prior to the beginning of each session to enable you to, re uh, to create repeating schedules. And basically what that means is that you can say every Monday from... 12 to 12.03 a.m. in Biomed A, I want this lecture to take place. And all you have to do to do that is you schedule the information up here, and then you select repeat for, in this case, se uh, semester, uh, semester one, and Lectopia behind the scenes will go through it and repeat the schedule until the end of session automatically. So it saves you the time of having to go through and create each one individually. Okay, now, screen capture. Currently, only the Central Lecture Block Theaters support screen capture. But if you're in that venue, this is something that you can make available to yourself. And what it is, is in addition to your audio recording, it will take a screencast of everything that takes place on the monitor in that venue. For example, if you're displaying PowerPoint slides, it can capture that. And when it's processed, it will overlay the screencast on top of the audio recording that's taking place. So they can actually view and listen to you at the same time. Okay, so if you want to make that available to yourself and this is clickable, you can select that and that'll take care of that for you. Okay, and finally the notification, when the, when the recording is finished processing, it sends an email out to whomever is listed here. And in the email contains a link to the, the course view of the, of the recordings that the students can can uh, access and it contains a link to the staff tool where you can upload PowerPoint slides. Okay, so now once you finish with this process here, we create schedule 
and momentarily you should receive a confirmation notice. So at this stage the process is complete. You can go about your business and do your lectures as per normal and when the recordings are completed the person who is indicated in the notification option will receive the email and they can distribute the link to the students at that point. So return to task selection. If you want to edit a booking you have the, the option to do that as well. So we're going to once again click make edit a booking and in this case now when we go to mic test which is what we scheduled it for originally all of the recordings now appear here. Now remember we use the repeating option so that is the reason why all of these are showing up and they're all showing up according to the time venue and day of the week that it takes place. Okay, So if you want to edit any of this information now you will have to first of all do it individually but you can click through to edit booking and then you can adjust this for example say the speakers different and and the speakers Patrick Stoddart for example click edit booking and, the, and the, the change has been committed. So once again, if we go back to view this here, um, that, will, that change will be reflected in the speaker options there. And, and likewise, if you change any of, the, any of the other information, say I change it to six minutes as opposed to one, edit booking, click back through again, select the course, and there you go, the time's been updated. Okay, so this is a way that you can update your recordings um, that are going to take place in the future. If you want to change any of the description or any of the information that pertains to the lecture or upload PowerPoint slides, you're going to have to do that through the staff tool. And I will be outlining, outlining that process in a different support clip. So finally, just a word on Lectopia support. At the very top here of the self-service wizard, there is a link to Lectopia support home. If you click on that, it's going to take you to the Lectopia support site. And there's a variety of information that's available to you here. But in particular, take a look at the self-service tool. And this outlines the tools in the DIY area in far greater detail. So have you please use this as your first point of contact. Alternatively, please contact the service desk for assistance. This is Mike Bogle. Thanks for listening.